Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for June 22nd, 2016. This is the last day of the solstice, the summer solstice. Jupiter is still on the north node. These are great days to set your intentions for the future, to pray, to ask for your wishes to be granted in a sense. And you know, a client asked me today, what if I have many options in front of me? What if I'm not clear regarding my direction in life at the moment. Then you go back to the basics. Then you just ask to be content, to be happy, to know how to make the right choice in the right time and to do it in the best way possible. Then you ask that you would wake up every day and give thanks and be full of gratitude for the fact that you are alive, be healthy, be joyful and so on and so forth. But these are good days to pray, to ask for, um, or to wish for things, and to set your intentions. If we talk about the day, the moon is in Capricorn. If you are in Central Europe, you'll be waking up to a square to Uranus and a sextile to Mars until noontime. That means that we could really be too harsh and too rash with sticking out of the crowd today. We could go into conflicts trying to prove that we are different and, and, and that we are unique. And in a sense, we have to calm and tone that down. This is not a good day to assert who we are in a way that could be aggressive. There's a very thin line between aggression and being assertive. And we really have to watch it today because when we have a square to Uranus, our fuse is much shorter. And we could really want to prove who we are and what we think and what we believe is right. Hello, Georgia. Yes, here, you're welcome. To other people in our lives. And that's not necessary. Calming down and toning it down will give you better results. The sextile to Mars is like an energetic wave that we can utilize to progress our um, anything we want to progress in our life, whether it is physical activities or just projects we're into in our work or in our house. This is a good day to utilize that energy and use it. It's still early morning in the States at that time. And from noon, from noon in Central Europe, that's early morning, about 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have a square to Chiron, which is a very sensitive time. It's a time that we are more in touch with our own pains. People in our vicinity can be in touch with theirs. And it's a time that we understand our limits as human beings and we can grow wiser because of those limits. And then at around 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time, that's around 1900 hours Central European time, there's a square to Juno. We really have to be careful with long-term relationships, whether they're work-related or love-related or personal. Be sensitive in your long-term relationships today. Don't go into conflicts for nothing. The moon is void, of course, between 20, 2100 hours Central European time to 2230 Central European time. That's 1500 hours to 1630 Eastern Standard Time. And then the moon goes into Aquarius. Mercury, the planet that is in charge of our decision and navigation through life, our thought processes, is squaring the nodes, it's squaring Jupiter, it's quincunxing Pluto, it's conjunct Vista, and now in English. <laughs> These are days that we are in a crossroads. It is time for decisions that will have implica implications for our future. Things have changed. Things are changing. We have to acknowledge that the map has changed. And with those changes, we have to update our goals and our targets and our course, in a sense. This is not the time to be obsessive, headstrong, and stuck about our ideas and the way we want to make them come through. No, this is a time to be adaptive and flexible. This is a day to understand that 
the most important things in our life, the things that we hold sacred, the things that we dedicate ourselves to, are the things that we need to devote ourselves to, in a sense. All the rest can wait. The most important things need our intentions at this moment. So, and don't ask for too much. Don't go too far, too strong, too high. Be practical. If you want to reach those goals, know how to structure that ladder, those staircases that take you up there one step at a time. If I want to get to Z, first thing I need to do is A. Second thing I need to do is B. Third thing I need to do is C, and so on and so forth. So, on behalf of Georgia and me, thank you for listening. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.